Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Showdown Bandit. So this is the new game from the creators of Bendy and the Ink Machine, Kindly Beast Studios, and it was of course announced at the beginning of the year, so I've been waiting for quite some time, as I'm sure all of you guys have as well. Now of course in the coming days we are going to be diving into some secrets and theory videos based around this game, but for now we're actually going to do a full let's play. I'm not sure if this is going to be one or two videos, or perhaps even three videos, because I'm not sure how long this game runs for, and I'm pretty sure this is just the first episode of the game as well so I'm not sure how long this is gonna be we could cover it in one video or it might be a couple but with that said guys I'm very excited to dive into this game because we don't know that much about it it looks pretty mysterious and the art style is just absolutely gorgeous so without further ado guys let's dive into this new horror game from Kindly Beast and see what it's all about here we go episode one showdown bandit and the trail of shadows ooh I like the little intro, that's kind of cool. The presentation is good so far. Hello there. Are we feeling shy? You don't need to hide from me, poor little thing. It's a big, scary world out here, I know. Oh my! It's you! Well, that is something. Let's get you out of that box and out into the light. So this is Miss Undertaker, isn't it? Oh my dear. Sure it's my name's Lorelei Undertaker. I didn't drag you back up here on purpose. But if you're here, then it must be what he wants. Either way, I suppose we best get going. The show must go on. So we're looking through the eyes of a bandit currently, guys. Which is pretty cool. Or at least I think we are. Unless we're some other kind of puppet. Nope, there we go. That is the bandit. Confirmed. Oh. He's getting his strings attached. This is where it gets mysterious and confusing to me. Because who's controlling this? I guess we are really, aren't we? So here we go, first steps. You're heading out into the wild. Touch anywhere in the surroundings to move around Showdown Valley. So we're in Showdown Valley, the old set of the original TV show now. If I move the mouse about, I think, here you go. Yeah, I click with the mouse to move him around. So I'm just gonna head over to this door because I'm guessing it wants us to probably head through this door here. Yes, we can click the door. There we go, oh man, that's so cool. Do you see how the set just literally transformed? Like, in front of our very eyes. That's really cool, I like that. It's a nice touch. So, we've got some money here, so we'll click that. So we've got $10 at the moment. Oh man, there's a, another bandit here hung up by the look of it. There's a gun there, we need to get that gun right. Here we go, look. There we go, that is the gun unlocked. Cork shot. Keep creepy foes away and take on pop puzzles with your very own trusty bandit pop pistol. Excellent. Oh, and we've got a new door. Here we go, we'll just head down. I had to go the long way around there. I thought I could get through the little gap uh, in the wood, but I can't. Oh, there's, there's some more money. I'm going to get that. There we go. $30 now. Let's head through the door. I think we need to thoroughly explore like all like the sets, don't we? Because you just never know what you could find in the darkness. Oh my god, I can see something over there. Look at those things marching in the shadows, guys, at the top. We've got posters from the TV show here. Got some more money. Follow the trail of money. Okay, here. Oh, there's some more money. Here we go collect the money and through the door. I really love that how the set just transforms. I think that's my favourite part of the game yet. That's just so cool. It must have taken them ages to do that. Oh. Bandit, before you go, since you were last in town, things haven't gotten any friendlier. Folks might not exactly be happy to see you, but I've never unboxed a bandit who ain't quick as can be with that court gun. Just be ready. Okay, so basically I'm going to have to shoot stuff soon. Alright, well there's a switch here, let's pull that switch. There we go, what's that done? Has that done anything? Ah, look, we've got a shooting range. 
Ah, oh, nice. Q-Bell, shoot a cork at Q-Bell to unlock new paths and reveal important hidden hidden items. Okay. Ah, so it's for hitting the bell allowed us to go through the door. It must have taken them ages to program this, like have the, uh, the camera move perspective so much. And this is all controlled on the mouse, by the way, guys. There's no like keys you press to control this. It's all done, at least from what I can tell, via the mouse, which is kind of cool. Quite easy to control. Oh. What's this? I'm gonna go through this door, guys. We'll do another video where we search thoroughly for all the secrets. I think I'm gonna try and just get through this and see what it's all about. Um, I'm gonna collect this money, though. Because you might as well get the money if you can, right? Got an old film camera up there, as you can see at the top. Someone's following us with a light as well. I'm guessing that's Miss Undertaker, but I'm not sure. I wonder if I can get around here, actually. Is there any way I can get around there? Nope. The only thing so far is the game does confuse me sometimes where it, like, allows me to go. Sometimes I think I can go somewhere where I actually can't. Don't look up. Oh, okay. No problem. I won't. I will uh, follow those instructions. I wonder if I can go into first person mode. Oh my god, okay. Can I shoot this thing? Go, go. Oh my god, okay. Wait, can I not sh just shoot him at any point? I'm just gonna run, guys. Go, 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 go. That's creepy. So. We can't just go into uh, the gun mode at any point. We have to be on one of those special circles, I think, where it allows us to go onto one. That's kind of unfortunate. It means we can't just shoot enemies at any point, I don't think. We've got, like, loads of options here. There's actually a guy over here as well, at the bank. Can we talk to him? Ah, Bandit! It's just so good you made it! Welcome to my humble booth. Anything you leave with me will be ready and waiting. Here we go, bank on it. Make sure to save your progress at the bank just in case you meet your demise. Ah, so the banker is basically banking all your progress, which makes sense, of course. So we'll save our progress here. You have to try to be a bit stealthy to uh, s survive back here. Would you like to save your progress? All previous data will be overwritten. Yes. Do we have to pay for that? Is that what the money's for? Because that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? So to get through this door, we need a key, right? Yes, which we don't have currently. So what I'll try and do, guys, is head through this door here first. And we'll check and see if we can see anything through here. Oh man, this is ominous. I'm glad I saved the progress. Because, quite frankly, I don't know what to expect. Oh, there's some more money here, but we do run the risk of one of these, like, guys coming to life. I really, really hope they don't. Okay, nothing down there. There's a little note here, though. What's this all about? It's a dark day in Showdown Valley. Even the birds stopped singing. But whatever happens, I know the good folk will watch out for each other. The show must go on, as they say. And that's from Farmer Mill. Okay. So that's like a little secret note. I'm guessing there's a bunch of those to collect throughout the chapter. We'll try and find them all, but if not, guys, I'll bring you a video looking at all the secrets from the game, and we'll sort of discover everything in that video, so don't worry if we miss a few things today. So through the door we go. Anything down here? Any more money? Nope. Oh, there is a little note on the ground over here, though. There's a key and it says, what does it say? Beware the stringless. Oh no, I guess we ran into one of those earlier. Well, let's take the key for now. So the lock is now gone automatically. We can just go straight through this door. Oh man, it's like we're in the mines or something now. This looks like a mine shaft, doesn't it? A little bit. Pretty spooky. I'll just go straight in. Okay. 
Anyone there? Oh, look, there's a door here. Let's go through this. Ooh, there's a TV. Let's see if we can watch this. Can we interact with it? No. TV is non-interactable. We've got some, uh... Oh my god. Is that the theme tune from the show? It kind of sounds pretty creepy. Don't know how much I'd have liked that as a kid. Surely that's not the original theme tune. <laughs> we've got some products in here, as you can see, guys. We've got the Crummy Crisps, we've got the uh, Shoogies, the Spark Blaster. So this is the room where I guess all the sponsors sort of uh, promoted their stuff. Well, where they kept all the, sp the sponsorship stuff from the show. Let's go up this uh, little walkway. We've got another note up here as well, which we'll read. Howdy, I'm writing to complain about the closing of Penny's General Store. Since it disappeared, folks have started eating old boxes of those tasteless crummy crisps. I wouldn't give them to the dead. And that's from Miss Undertaker. So, apparently that cereal wasn't so nice. Obviously just a product for show endorsed, but not something that was particularly good. Let's go up. Crossroads, okay. Ah, we've got a place we can shoot from now, guys. Wanted. Someone to bring back the key to Happy Mine. Those nasty critters went and hid it somewhere in the wild. The mountain pass is closed until the key is found. So, we better get that key. Let's go and step into this and see if we can shoot. Or can we not shoot yet? Okay, guys, so currently, there's a locked door here. There's a door with stars on it there. We can't interact with this um, little symbol on the ground with a gun on it yet. We've got another door here which we could go through. So I'm guessing we maybe go through the door with the stars on it first. And just check that out and move from there. Let's have a look. Good looks. Discover hidden bandit outfits all over Shodan Valley. Return here to put them on. Ah, so this is like a place where we can put on new costumes. So... Currently, I guess we've only got the original, the OG outfit. Yeah, we can't do anything with it yet. And we can hear that theme tune from the trailer as well in this room. It's quite peaceful. I quite like it. Probably less chill in here and listen to that tune and try on different outfits all day, pretty much. Uh, but we're not going to right now because we don't have any outfits to try on, so we'll come back here when we do. So basically, those uh, doors with the stars on are places where we can try on our outfits. Um, I wonder if, uh, like, this is totally kind of like an open world type thing and we can keep returning to this one place throughout all the chapters. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll go through this door first. Let's have a look. Ooh, we've got a lever to pull. Let's do that then. Which means that the door is probably now clear, I'm guessing. Nope, but we can now step on this symbol, which is lit up, and shoot. So, we want to shoot that bell, right? Yeah, there we go. Is there anything else we can shoot in this room? It says don't look up. I'm trying to look up, but I can't see anything when I do. Nothing else that I can see, so let's get out of that and go through this door. This is the thing, isn't it, though? Like, with the games by, like, uh... Kindly Beast, they have so many secrets. Well, at least Bendy and Mink Machine did. You're always just kind of looking for stuff like that. Um, let's go through this door here. Danger. Don't know why we're going through that door. I probably wouldn't if it was my call to make, but never mind. It says guard your strings there. On the wall, guys. So, make sure we do that then. Just get ready to run. We have got some money. Let's pick that up. Stay alert. Creepy foes patrol these parts. Best to stay out of sight. Okay. So, let's have a look up here. There's a little poster of a banker. Friendly little guy that helps us out. Ooh, is there anything down here? There's some money. Nice. So that was worth coming down there for. Let's go through this door here. Oh, man. There's so many puppets everywhere. What's that say there? Reward. $50,000 for the faceless bandit. Oh my god, look guys, we've got, a, we've got a creepy enemy there just patrolling. 
That's a new enemy type. So, we have to be stealthy now, right? That's our objective. Oh my god, he's gonna see us. Go, go, go. Hide. Hide. How are we gonna get past this guy? He's just gonna walk in and see us, right? No! No, he's gonna see us. I don't know how we could have avoided that. Come on, bandit. Quick. Faster. Into this door. Nice. I don't know how we would have avoided him. It says don't look up here, okay. So, obviously, we don't want to look up there. Oh my god, there's another enemy, guys. Can I go this way? No, no, no. Over here. Oh my god, guys, I can't... <laughs> I've walked too close to him again. I think the whole, like, strategy of this game is outmaneuvering enemies. So, basically, like... Oh, can we go in? Can we shoot him? No, we can't. That's not accessible yet. You have to uh, sort of turn on those plates in order to use them, so... Yeah, you basically just need to navigate around all these guys. It's pretty uh, stressful. I'm going to go in this door here, guys. There's so many different doors now, like... Ah, wait, look. Here's the banker. I can save my progress. You have to try to be a bit stealthy to uh, su survive back here. Yeah, I know. I understand that, man. Don't worry. So we've got to another save point. Ooh, what's this? You must take care to guard your strings. I can mend them, of course. Ah, so this doctor guy that we saw in the teasers, guys, obviously can heal us up. So another let's have day, a look. Another bandit. Repair your strings. It's always better to be prepared. Okay, let's repair them. Ah, look, yeah, we've got five strings now, guys, at the top corner of the screen. I didn't actually notice that before. So every time we get hit, I guess we've got five hit points. And if we drop below five hit points, we get, like, a game over screen, I assume. So let's go down here and collect my money. And there's some more money here. Now, I don't know which way to go. There's so many different <laughs> sort of rooms that we haven't explored yet. Um, but I'm going to go keep going up for now, guys. I'm going to go through this door here. Right, so we've got a switch up here which we need to turn. Who's that? I don't like the sound of that. Even though it sounds kind of friendly, it also sounds kind of ghostly. I wonder if that's this uh, Penny Hemsworth character we saw teased before. Look, there's her shadow in the door guy, in the window guys, her silhouette. Let's go up and see if she's there. I'm kind of scared. Because that didn't sound uh, very nice. There is a symbol with a key on it, a bell symbol. So we need to find a way to activate that gun icon so we can actually shoot the bell, I think. Right, let's go through this door. Here we go, we've got to the... Oh. Okay, uh, that's fine. We've turned on the little gun icon, and now we can go down and shoot the bell and make some progress and just hope that that strange woman isn't walking about trying to get us. Because uh, I'm not a f I'm not a fan of that, it's kind of scary, kind of creepy. Let's go and stand on here. And see what we can see, I guess. I hope she doesn't like rush us from like the darkness now. That'd be horrible. Oh, here we go. Nice. Ah, yes, look, there's the key. That's what we want. So we'll take the key and we'll head back. Objective complete. Let's go around here. Let's make sure this guy doesn't see us. What? Oh my god, wait, is that the... Guys, that's the of a bandit, isn't it? That's the bandit from the, the faceless bandit. No, he's gone. I think he killed that other enemy as well. Like, I think he did away with the uh, other, like, puppet that was in the room. Which is kind of good. I guess if he appears, you just have to, like, 
hightail it super fast. All right, let's see what we can find this way then. Oh, we've got an icon we can use so I can shoot this guy now. Oh, wait. Okay, I got one. Man, I'm scared. There was another one and he's gone now. You gonna rush me? No? Where did you go? Alright, I think we're safe. I don't know where the other puppet went. I'm not gonna concern myself with that. Just gonna carry on. Okay, let's go down here guys. Let's see if we can collect this money. I'm addicted to collecting the money now. Even though I don't fully understand what it does, I think it maybe allows us to save the game. But it never seems to tell me like how much money I've spent by saving, so I'm not sure. I am enjoying this so far guys. It's very quirky and strange. And the actual control scheme is very different from pretty much anything I've played, at least in recent memory. So it feels very fresh, this game. I'm totally lost, by the way, <laughs> at the moment. I've just sort of gone through random doors and ended up here. I'm not sure where I have to take that key for a start. But we'll just keep heading on. Ooh, wait, what's this room all about? There's a little note here, guys. So it looks like this may be a secret area again. I'm not sure. Let's read the note. Dear Davy and Betty, no one has heard from you in days and we're worried sick. I know Mama told us never to hide behind the secret bookcase out in the wild, but I have a feeling that's where you two are trapped. Cowboy West. Okay, so this tells us a clue that there is a secret bookcase out in the wilds, which might lead us to a significant piece of story information because I get the feeling that this is again a bit like Bendy and the Ink Machine where we have to kind of piece the story together from you know, clues that we find around the environments, which I always kind of enjoyed because I like doing theories and stuff. Ah, remember he referenced a bookcase in that note, guys? Well, I've just moved it out of the way and we've got a secret door here. So here we go. Maybe this is where we need to be going. All there is a note. There is a note, guys, maybe. Maybe this is what we're looking for. I'm afraid this may be our last roundup. Betty and I can't find find a way out of here. Better to starve than being eaten by arachnids, I guess. Still hoping somebody comes soon. So is this Betty and Dave and Davy down here? The two little puppets. Do they just die here by the uh, light of this little lantern? That's kind of sad. Oh, there's a bell here as well. Did we shoot that bell yet? Oh, I thought, I, hit, I thought I hit him dead on then. I don't know. Anyway, let's hit this bell and see what this does. Oh. There we go, we've got him. Anyone else? I'm not sure. We can go up here now on the walkway, guys. I think we've unlocked a secret door, so we'll just uh, check that out. I think I'll end part one pretty soon, and we'll move to part two to do the rest of the game. Because I've been recording now for about half an hour. Got too into it and forgot how long I was recording for. Look, we've got another note, so we'll read that. I've counted and recounted, but something here is coming up short. There used to be more of us here in Showdown Valley. A lot more, but now, well, the bank has very few accounts. That's from a banker, so basically, people are going missing in Showdown Valley. I'm guessing it's because of that faceless bandit guy uh, that keeps popping up. Oh no, wait. Look, guys, we've got the... Uh faceless band that he just shows up. He kind of reminds me of Bendy and Bendy Mink Machine. You know how like Bendy could just show up at any point on like the third chapter. It feels a bit like that. I'm not sure how you're meant to get past. It sometimes seems like you almost can't avoid getting hit because the enemy placement's just a bit random but I think it's all about like getting them to try and attack you and then getting past them. What's that noise? I have a feeling that this uh, Penny character that's following us around and singing to us isn't a particularly friendly character, so that music doesn't really comfort me. 
But while I think we're going to do it at the moment, guys, is actually head back to the crossroads section because now, of course, we have got the key. We can access the mine area. I am going to call it a day for today's video, though. What I'm going to do is go to part two, and in part two, we're going to actually play through the mine section of this game. So for today, that is it. I have been enjoying my time with Showdown Bandit, and I hope you've been enjoying your time watching it with me. I will do a full impressions after I finish it, of course. Remember to give this video a like. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and I'll see you for part two of Showdown Bandit very soon.